everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cher if you're new here. So today I have a combined haul for you. Oh my gosh, I actually haven't put out a video in a couple of weeks. I have been shopping and I do have some great things that I can't wait to share with you. I have things from Dollar Tree, Dollarama, Walmart and London Drugs. Trust me, you're going to want to see what I picked up. And the other reason you're going to want to stick around is because I actually have some fall DIYs made from Dollar Tree materials that you're also going to want to check out. So let's get started. So let's kick things off here with what I picked up from Dollar Tree and I always like to start with the food related items. So first up is just a box of this uh, spice cake mix from Duncan Hines. I'm going to be putting together a really special thank you gift um, for a an office that actually just kind of went above and beyond for me. So I am going to be putting together something really, really special for them. I will try to kind of take you along with that process when it gets a little closer. If I have time, I will definitely share that with you. So I'm going to be turning this cake mix into cupcakes and I plan on using a cream cheese frosting. I think that will be really yummy. And to make it even a little bit more fall, I'll be putting some like fall sprinkles on top or something like that. Now these next items are also going to be going into that thank you gift. I had seen these a while back and I thought, oh man, those look really, really yummy, but probably too dangerous for me to have in the house because I'll eat them all. So I actually picked up four. These are chocolate covered caramel pretzel rods. These look so high end to me. And for $1.25, which is what we pay here in Canada for most of our items in our Dollar Trees, I just thought this would make a perfect addition to that thank you gift. So I plan on making some cookies to go along with this little thank you gift. And so I figured I better pick up some plates and some napkins. And I found these really, really pretty fall ones. And there was a couple of different varieties to pick from, but I just grabbed these ones. And because I am making cookies, I figured I better grab a container and what better container than one with a red truck on it, right? So I thought that would make a really good vessel for the cookies. So before I get into some of the new items that I found, I'm gonna show you a couple of repeat buys. First one are these stickers. Oh my gosh, I think these stickers are just everything. You got your red truck, you got your blue truck, and you've got sunflowers. Does it get any better than that? I just think these are so nice. So I own a few packs of these already, but I figured a girl can never have too many stickers, right? And then the other item that I picked another one up of is this awesome Spear Ice Mold. Now I already have one of these, but a friend of mine, once I was kind of explaining how awesome these humongous ice balls are, she was like, can you pick one of those up for me too next time you're at Dollar Tree? So I thought I better grab her one. If you guys see these, you need one of these in your life. I use mine all the time. I Those ice balls are so huge. They're like, I don't know, they're about this round. And one is all you need. It'll last you all night long <laughs> in your water or your pop or your wine or whatever you got in there. Um, yeah, these are amazing. All right, so let's move on to some new items, shall we? I had picked up some vinyl, oh, quite a few weeks ago uh, in different colors. They also had the glitter vinyl and, oh my gosh, there was a few different varieties. But when I saw that they had plaid oh my gosh i grabbed it uh, i got two of each variety uh, now i have heard that this isn't the greatest quality of vinyl well and for a dollar what do you expect really i haven't actually had a chance to try this out for myself yet but i have heard that if you do bigger cuts with it with your vinyl cutting machines it actually works pretty good but if you try to do anything really intricate or small it's not the greatest so keep that in mind like i say uh, I haven't tried it out myself yet, but I figured, you know, this stuff in particular would be really good just for backgrounds. You could use it for a lot of different things or just use scissors and cut out, you know, different shapes or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what I plan on using this for, but for holidays coming up, I thought this would come in handy for something for sure. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge lover of gnomes and I found some new ones. Oh my gosh, you guys, feast your eyes on these cute little guys. Now there was a dark blue one that went with this set as well. I didn't really think I needed the blue one, so I just went with the red and the green. How stinking cute are these? Now my store has put out quite a bit of Christmas stuff. Oh, a couple weeks ago they brought stuff out, but I noticed that they have cleared away their whole uh, back to school section. And obviously they're getting ready to bring out a bunch more Christmas stuff because I looked on the floor and there were Christmas boxes everywhere. And my store in particular just got a huge truckload of stuff on Monday. And when I walked by the storage room, it was jam packed. So if you guys are wanting to get in on some new Christmas items, I think that they are coming. Um, some stores I know have already had it out for weeks already. Some are a little bit slower to the game, but 
if there's things that you want, just be patient and keep going and checking in your Dollar Trees because they just keep bringing more and more stuff out as the season kind of progresses. So don't give up hope if you're looking for that, you know, one thing in particular, you'll definitely find it sooner or later. It sometimes just takes a little while to get to your store. So these next items, I could not believe my eyes that I found these at Dollar Tree. I have never seen Dollar Tree come out with these for Christmas. Check these out. Oh my gosh, you guys, uh, metal tree collars for our little mini trees that Dollar Tree brings us every year. I couldn't believe it. I actually have the big version for my Christmas tree. I use it every single year. So I think this is going to be a great little addition to my seasonal decor this year. You could also spray paint these if these didn't kind of go with what you had going on. I think black would be really nice. And then you could use your Cricut or vinyl cutting machine or whatever and personalize this any way you would like. So they came in the red and the silver. I grabbed one of each and I think these are gonna go pretty quickly. So if you see these, you might wanna grab them when you can. So if you watched my last Dollar Tree haul, you would have seen that I picked up one of their snowman metal uh, wreath forms. Oh my gosh, I had never seen those before. I think they are so cool. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I thought I better grab some white mesh while they had quite a bit of it, just in case I you know, use this on that little snowman wreath form. And then to go along with those, I just picked up a package of 45 chenille stems uh, to tie the mesh on with. And that is everything that I got from Dollar Tree, but I am going to share with you now the two DIY projects that I did recently. One, I actually do have a video up uh, how I put this together, so I will make sure I put the link to that video in the description box. The other one I did not make a video, so let me show you what I made. So here is project number one. I actually put this together using one of those metal uh, pumpkin wired wreath forms from Dollar Tree and one of these packages of fabric that you can also get from Dollar Tree. They have all different kinds of varieties and patterns uh, in the fabric. Now I wanted to see if this little piece of fabric would be big enough to cover the pumpkin form and it did, uh, barely. <laughs> so you get, how much do you get here? Uh, 20 by 21 inches on here. And like I said, it just barely worked. So what I did, um, because I don't have a video showing you guys how to make these, but lots of people are doing them on YouTube. You can find tutorials all over the place. Um, basically all you do is you just start on one end, glue it and stretch it to the other side, glue it over here. And then I did the top and then the bottom. And then I just kind of went around and just pulled nice and tight as I went along and just glued everything really well in the back. I chose to embellish mine with just some Dollar Tree floral. This is actually pieces from a hula skirt, believe it or not. If you don't have raffia, that works really, really well on a pinch. I uh, just pulled some leaves off some of the floral as well, stuck a little sunflower on there. And you've got yourself actually a really cute little pumpkin wreath to hang on your front door. So you might have noticed this wreath behind me here. This wreath actually I made last year. I do have a video for that as well. I'll make sure I put that in the description box too in case you're wondering how I put this one together. It's made with one of those wire pumpkin wreath forms as well and actually just burlap and those little automotive uh, cloths that you get at Dollar Tree. Just tied them all to it and embellished it with some few things and that one actually came out really cute as well. Now the last project that I am super excited to share with you is one that I'm really proud of. I think it's probably one of my most favorite DIYs to date and it was very simple to make, very inexpensive to make and pretty much everything I used came from Dollar Tree except for this big honkin frame <laughs> and the frame only cost me two dollars if you can believe it or not i found this at my local reuse uh, habitat for humanity reuse uh, store and it was yeah two bucks it was very rustic and it had you know lots of slivers and it was dirty i just cleaned it up a little bit this truck here is actually just one of their little window decorations it actually had a little suction cup attached to it i just pulled that off um, the background is actually a piece of cardboard, the brown part cardboard, um, and I just painted it with a few different colors and made it look like shiplap and made a little simple bow. Again, everything from Dollar Tree, all the ribbon, all the floral, and it turned out so awesome. I am absolutely in love with this piece. So if you want, like I say, if you want to see how I made this, I do have a video for this one. Super easy, just by using some simple, inexpensive products, you can put together something really, really, really nice um, for your decor. So these next few things are items that I picked up from Dollarama. 
First up is this leaf garland. I thought this would come in handy for possibly some of my fairy gardens. I think you could make some really cute little mini little garlands with this stuff. You get 15 feet of this uh, for $1.50. So I thought that was a good find. And this next item is something that I was really hoping that I'd be able to get my hands on. I had been kind of given a heads up by one of the uh, groups that I belong to on Facebook. It's a Dollarama group. And I had seen people hauling these and I was, like I said, I was really hoping I'd find them. And I did. Oh my gosh, they look like Crocs. They're fuzzy, fleecy inside. And these things are only $4, you guys. Oh my gosh. They come in a few different colors. Um, they've got this like camel one and they also have it in a, uh, like a pink, a lighter pink color. And yeah, so this is from Mossy Oak. This is the tag here. They're washable, um, wash in cold water, dry on low heat, or hang to dry. Yeah, they are really comfortable. They're true to size. This is a 7.8. Uh, I bought them from Megan, actually, and she, <laughs> I told her she can't wear them until I did the haul. So yeah, she'll be really excited to get her hands on these finally. And the last item that I picked up from Dollarama, not too exciting, but super, super important to me. And you're thinking, okay, what is so important about Irish Spring Soap Share? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, from time to time, uh, we have had over the years problems with mice and rodents inside and outside. Uh, I've had them chew wires in my vehicle before. And like I said, we've even had them in our home, which we have since I think figured that out and I haven't had a problem knock on wood in quite some time with that. However, it is getting to that time of year. It's, you know, fall is here or it's coming. It's starting to get cooler. And this is prime time for those little buggers to find their way into your vehicles and into your homes. So what I like to do is take a bar of this Irish Spring. It has to be Irish Spring. They hate, hate, hate the smell of this stuff. And I just take a pair of pantyhose and I cut them apart and put the bar right in there. Even a half a bar is probably plenty. Like it's pretty strong. It stinks. <laughs> I don't like this stuff either. Uh, and then you just tie it somewhere in your, inside your engine compartment. And obviously you don't want it near anything that's going to get hot or it's going to get caught in a fan or anything like that. So you got to find a spot that it's going to hang somewhere that's safe. Um, put a new bar in there every fall and I promise you, you will not have a problem with rodents. Well, hopefully. Okay, I'm not going to promise, but it'll definitely help deter them because once they get in your car, oh my gosh, they make such a mess. If they, I've had them make a nest in my engine compartment before, which is a total fire hazard. I've had them chew my wires, which can be very costly to fix. And then they can also get right inside your car, inside, like, ugh, yuck. Anyway, so this is a really inexpensive, easy way to help deter them, so why not? So I just have a few more items to share with you. These next two are from Walmart. Oh my gosh, Walmart has actually put out quite a bit this year for fall and Halloween, I found in my store anyway. And they have some really cute, cute seasonal decor items. I've noticed that the last couple of years actually for Christmas, fall, all of the things. So first up, is this adorable little black truck with these awesome little pumpkins in the back. Look at that, it even has a little jack-o'-lantern. And this was actually super cheap. I paid $6.98 for that. I thought that was a really good deal for something, you know, this substantial and this nice. I thought this would make a great addition to my fall decorating this year. I am really liking the black. Um, I, obviously I like the reds and the oranges and all that kind of stuff with my red truck decorating, but I do really like the black as well. It's just kind of goes with everything. So to go along with this little black truck, I also picked up this little welcome sign. They had a number of things in this collection that all kind of went together. Uh, I just came up with these two pieces. I thought they were really nice. And this little truck welcome sign was only $8.98. So again, I thought this was very comparable to things that you would find at, you know, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. So I was really happy to have found both of those. So I've saved my most favorite item of all to the very end of this haul. And this was something that I found at London Drugs. Oh man, I think this is going to make such a cute addition to my fall like coffee bar area, which I haven't quite gotten done yet. Uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> A little slow to the game this year. I don't know what it is. But anyway, this actually lights up. How cute is that? I just think this is so awesome. Now I can't remember exactly how much this was and I already took the price tag off. 
I'm thinking it was around 12 to $15. Um, I think it was somewhere, something like that. And they had some great fall items as well. So if you're here in Canada like I am, you might want to head on over to your London Drugs and see what you can find in your stores. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.